How's it going everyone? CJ from On The Grow here and today we're going to be comparing two different organic hydroponic nutrients on the crop sunflower. One's going to be kelp and the other's going to be ocean solution. So stay tuned for the test. All right guys, so today we're gonna to be comparing two different types of organic hydroponic nutrients. If you're not familiar with our channel, we like to compare all kinds of different growing techniques to see how we can affect the growth, appearance, and taste of microgreens using different factors such as lights, temperature, nutrients, growing medium, and so on. In this test, we're specifically focusing on the nutrient aspect. Let's talk about each one of these nutrients in detail. Over here, we have Ocean Solutions 2-0-3 blend. Ocean Solutions, a hydroponic nutrient that we've used in our space for a lot of months now, and we use it pretty religiously. It just absolutely crushes it in its growth compared to other growing mediums, even non-organic options. So Ocean Solution is an organic hydroponic nutrient that used to be OMRI listed, but actually we had some of our subscribers find out that it wasn't OMRI listed at all. And in fact, whenever we called the company, they said that they just stopped paying for their OMRI listing, but it hadn't changed anything in their formula. So they were trying to save money and left it on the label, which I thought was kind of dirty. And that's why we're actually beginning to search for other hydroponic nutrient sources. That way people have options for a more reliable and honest source for nutrients. We don't know exactly what's in Ocean Solution because they have a proprietary blend, which means they don't have to share what's actually in it. They do claim that it has about 90 plus minerals derived from the sea and being a 2-0-3, it means they added some kind of form of potassium and nitrogen to this to help with the growth. And onto the organic liquid kelp. So organic liquid kelp is exactly that. Kelp is the stuff that grows in the ocean that kind of goes like this and it's just absolutely packed with all kinds of nutrients and minerals, which is why it's popular in dishes to eat as well as nutrient forms. So the actual NPK for this liquid kelp claims to be a 0 .30.6. So it is substantially weaker in the NPK than the ocean solution, but it does have a good amount of trace min minerals and it does have a little bit of the N and K in this. When we first got our liquid kelp, we were really excited about it. And then we opened this in our grow space and we poured some into a nutrient reservoir and oh my goodness, there was such a fart smell in our entire space that it was like really quite bad. So it's really great in the fact that I know that there's decaying matter in here, which means that this is very active in all kinds of bacteria and other beneficial growing things for the soil. But what I dislike is that it absolutely reeks of fart. One thing we've noticed in the past is whenever a nutrient has a certain smell or something like that, we notice that actually that will end up in the crop itself. For example, when we tried growing with sea salt and things like that, we noticed a very salty taste in a lot of our crops. Whereas with Ocean Solution, you don't really notice that. But um, in this, I'm really hoping that we don't get a fart taste to our sunflowers. Because if we did, I think it would be absolutely great to give this to family and friends and be like, oh my God, these taste so good, what do you think? And let them eat it and it tastes like a fart or something, that would be hilarious. But I'm hoping that's not the case because this is something that, you know, is very popular to be used in all kinds of growing. So I don't think that's gonna be the case, but we'll find out whenever we cross that road. So I'm gonna pull both of these off the shelf and we'll get the sunflowers down here and I'll see you guys in just a second. Before we get into the test details, if you guys wouldn't mind, go ahead and smash that like button because it helps with YouTube's algorithm. If you guys are feeling extra generous, be sure to click that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, the notification bells, that way you guys get notified when we release a new video. Now let's get into the test details for this test. Each one of these trays has been seeded with 125 grams of black oil sunflower per tray. All the sunflower seeds went through a one hour soak process that was not pH balanced. Everything is being grown on a medium that is called coco coir, which is basically shaven up coconut shell that works really well to retain water. The only difference between all these trays is some are green and some are orange. The orange group is going to be our ocean solution group and the green trays are going to be our liquid kelp group. I'm Kanye God, what's up? The growth on all these trays are pretty dang close. So what we're gonna do at this point is go ahead and toss these onto the shelf and we're gonna begin bottom watering all of them with their specified nutrients. I'll see you guys over the next few days and we'll touch base and see how the growth is looking. We are on day nine of this organic hydroponic nutrient test for kelp versus sunflowers and the growth looks pretty super solid across all four of these trays. I am very happy with the growth. The cotyledons look really nice on everything. We have a few seed holes remaining along all of these groups, but that is totally okay. We can try and knock those off right before harvest. And worst come worst, we'll just pick a few out before we eat them. So what we're gonna do right now is quickly take a glance at all of these trays and kind of get a first appearance 
thoughts on what's going on with this. So we'll start over here on our kelp side. Remember the green trays are our kelp. So as for the appearance on all of these, I really think that the coloration is really nice. We have great cotyledons. We're beginning to see the true leaves, which is why we are harvesting uh, this today. Overall, the appearance on these is really beautiful. And I think the growth looks really solid throughout both of these trays kind of feeling these, I could feel that they are both really quite firm. So I feel happy with the growth overall on both of those. On to the two ocean solution groups. At first glance, I am noticing they seem a little bit more rounded and tall and fluffy than the two kelp groups. And I do feel like the cotyledon size might be slightly larger on some of these ocean solution group though. I don't know, it, it's pretty close here. I feel like they are slightly larger, but I guess we'll find out whenever we actually harvest and we'll hold some of these up side by side. As for the coloration and everything, I think it looks really great. I do feel like it is a shade lighter than the kelp group, but it could be that the kelp group is just slightly lower right now and they're getting less light, so they look slightly darker. Again, I think we'll find out more in the appearance stage once we've actually harvested. So overall, everything looks super awesome on these. It was really easy to water both these groups and I'm very happy with their growth. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna harvest all of these off camera. We'll set some aside from each group. We'll do a taste test comparison and we'll also talk about the appearance and any other factors that might appear during the harvest stage. So I'll see you guys in just a moment once I've sliced all these guys down. As I was harvesting our sunflowers, I noticed that the knife wasn't gliding through the crop as well. So I think that it's getting a little bit dull. So something I've never showed before is how we actually sharpen our knife. So I'm gonna take my knife here. I'm gonna lay it just like this. And I'm gonna take this, which I got from a little restaurant store. It's a knife sharpener. And you just wanna very gently glide it across the top of this. So I'm putting very minimal pressure right here. And that's just re-sharpening that edge because as you can see, it's got two little sharpening stones right there that kind of V, and that is gonna help sharpen this. So I'm just gonna do a few glides through this. Now that I've sharpened this, what I gotta do now is I'm gonna take it over to our sink, I'm gonna rinse it off, and I'm gonna wipe it off with another rag because you don't want any of those little metal shavings to end up in your crop. So make sure you clean it after you sharpen it. But this should be good to go now. All right, I finished harvesting all four of the trays. Let's talk about each group. So as for the kelp side, we had a harvest weight of 450 grams for one tray and 460 grams for the other. As for the ocean solution group, we had a harvest weight of 571 grams for one group and 543 grams for the other. That means we had a difference of about 80 to 120 grams in favor of the Ocean Solution Group. Personally, I'm kind of ready for another organic option to win in harvest weight. And believe me, we're gonna get there. We're gonna figure out something that beats Ocean Solution. It's just gonna take a little bit of time, I guess. So let's talk about the appearance for each one of these. So I'm not gonna tell you which group is which, and let's just kind of take a peek here. So as you can see, both groups are very similar in their appearance. The stem coloration, the cotyledon size, true leaf appearance and everything about them is honestly very quite similar. I did notice a little bit of curling on the stems on this side, but I guess you do kind of see that on both sides really. So let's kind of identify these. This side right here is our kelp groups and this side is our ocean solution groups. I really don't think there's too much difference there in appearance, so I don't think that's gonna play a big factor here. I think that they both just kind of equal each other out. Now let's talk about flavor for each one. I'm gonna get a little pinch for me, a little pinch for Mandy here. Good catch. All right, let's eat this. Um, very crunchy, very juicy. It kind of, the juice hit my throat real fast. I'm noticing there's not a lot of astringent or bitter flavor. It's lacking a little bit on the nutty flavor, but the great thing is I'm not tasting fart, which is what kelp smells like. And sometimes with crops, whenever you use nutrients, it will, it will taste like it smells and I'm not tasting fart, which is really good. So overall, I think the taste is great. And had I told somebody, if I just fed them this, they wouldn't be able to tell me that this was grown with kelp. I think it just tastes great like sunflowers. So now let's try our ocean solution group. Give a little bit to Mandy. Same thing, a little bit for myself. I'm gonna eat a little bit less this time. Or maybe I'm not, I don't know. Or I could live dangerously. I feel like that was a little bit crunchier. I noticed there's a little bit more of that astringent flavor, a little bit more of that bitter flavor on this group. So that's surprising. Mmm. I'm kind of excited. The flavor was good. Doesn't have a whole lot of that nutty flavor, but there was a little bit more of that astringent bitter flavor in the Ocean Solution group. And it's pretty tough to swallow that. Maybe I just don't want to swallow the information that my best organic nutrient tastes a little bit bitter. Hard information to swallow there. So as for overall winner for taste, I'm gonna have to go with the kelp group. Honestly, I think it had the best flavor of both of these groups. There wasn't that bitter astringent flavor that I noticed with the Ocean Solution, though the flavor on the Ocean Solution was really great overall. They just had this slight astringent bitter flavor that I really 
didn't enjoy compared to the kelp group. I think had we starved both of these and dehydrated them and created more of a nutty flavor, that would have hid that flavor a little bit more, but we didn't do that for this test. We just want to test it straight as it goes. Okay, so overall winner here, I'm gonna have to say, honestly, I don't know that there's a better winner because the Ocean Solution did pro provide us with a much higher harvest weight, but it sacrificed on the taste. And that's something that is incredibly important because if the product doesn't taste as good, I'm gonna go with something that gives me slightly lower yields but that people are gonna enjoy a lot more and that I'm personally going to enjoy more. All right, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. Do you think that because the Ocean Solution group got a higher harvest weight, it is the winner? Or do you think because the kelp group got the better flavor that it is the winner? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. In the meantime, what I'm gonna be trying to figure out how to do is take this kelp and maybe add some things to it, maybe a little bit more nitrogen, a little bit more potassium, and see if we can get it to have that explosive growth that we noticed out of Ocean Solution. That was the biggest drawback here is that the NPK for the kelp group was like 0 0.6, 0 0.4, and 0.3, whereas for the ocean solution it was 203. So it was a much stronger formulation for the nitrogen and the potassium. So I think that by adding just a little bit more of those into the kelp, perhaps we can get that explosive growth. And I'm really excited to see if we can figure that one out. Well, that's it for this video. If you guys haven't already, please be sure to smash that like button. Check out our Instagram and Facebook. Our website is www.onthegrow.net. Thank you so much and keep on believing.